Let us continue the learning of uh, painting figures by drawing boxes. In this series, we will take different poses of a figure uh, performing different actions and we will try to represent them in boxes. And the, the use of uh, representing them in boxes is to simplify the process. And at a later point, uh, you should be able to construct uh, your figures from imagination. Hi friends, welcome to a new watercolor tutorial. I am Vanidas Mangathil. Please press on that subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Okay. Without further ado, let us start the learning. Okay, let us uh, take a sitting pose today and we are uh, assuming that a person is sitting on a chair and we are seeing it from a profile view. This is a simple representation of a chair from a profile view. Somebody, I mean a person will be sitting and uh, my idea is that the person sitting is leaning a little bit towards, uh, leaning forward a bit and uh, we will uh, try to draw that. See, whenever you are constructing a person sitting, I feel the easiest way to begin is to <coughs> place the box representing the seat or the hip on top of the surface, on top of the chair. So we have made a box uh, on, the, on the chair and now let us connect the upper body uh, to the hip. So we have made the upper body and it is slightly leaning forward because usually you, you might have seen that when somebody is sitting uh, and probably he is thinking something, I, I don't know what he is doing, he is leaning little forward, that is the idea. So this box is the thigh and we are now making the lower leg, right? So you might have seen that if you have seen the previous tutorial. Uh, the boxes were slightly wider but in this case today's case it is a little narrower because when you see a person from the front view you will see him wider and uh, when you see the person from the side from the profile you will see him less wider narrower so whenever you make the boxes for a profile view make the boxes narrow and uh, when you see from the front or back view you make it wider the way you usually see in reality Right, now we have made the upper leg, uh, upper and lower leg. Let us make the arm now, the upper arm and think, think what he may do. I mean, assume yourself uh, sitting in such a position, how you would sit. If you are not able to imagine, go and sit on a chair and uh, try to see how you are, you are keeping your uh, hand, how you are keeping your leg, etc and uh, you make a mental note of it and then you can uh, represent them in figure right so we have made boxes for the head we have made box for the upper area upper body the chest area the hip uh, upper and lower legs upper and lower arms the lower arm is not very clear in this uh, because uh, because of the pose that we are uh, working on so i think this represents uh, the overall uh, mood or overall uh, his posture uh, reasonably convincing now it's a time for us to do the painting the coloring so the coloring uh, I, I tend to take uh, blue color for the upper body usually and uh, most of the time right and uh, you can the color you pick up is your choice okay now uh, I'm making the uh, I'm coloring the shirt and I'm little bit going out of that uh, box boundaries to represent the, the chest and the belly because if you are leaning forward it is very likely that uh, a little bit of your upper <coughs> the chest and uh, the belly might get a little bit of a folding there and there will be some bulging right so that is uh, now let us go for the lower uh, part which is the leg okay I am I am usually putting the darker color for the pants, right, and the leg now. Now, uh, if you are finding this video informative and uh, useful, please do subscribe and uh, press the bell notification. Share it to your friends to whom it may be beneficial. 
and uh, most importantly write comments please please uh, ask questions or your uh, write your comments in the comment box below so that i will understand what what you are looking for what is, what you are finding it as useful what is the problem that you are facing write all those things in the comment box so that the future videos can be more and more informative for you right so yeah i'm adding a little bit of a tone here and there okay so because uh, it was looking a little bit flat in color so we are not in this series okay of uh, figure learning with boxes uh, or in particular the my figure uh, painting tiny figure painting uh, tutorials my focus is on the suggestivity not on the the the, the specific details okay specific details if uh, if you are interested that is a different uh, different uh, subject altogether because you will have to worry about the facial features and uh, all those stuff we 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 our objective of this is to get better with tiny figures which you can add later in your watercolor uh, landscapes or streetscapes etc here i am using little uh, 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 dry brush work sort of thing see the colors that i am using uh, is uh, uh, for this chair i have used the burnt sienna and painis gray and for the figure the the upper body i have used cerulean blue a little bit of a, a red into that sort of purple and uh, for the lower body i have used painis gray and the head i used painis gray so a little bit of shadow i have added uh, to get a little bit more interesting i think i think overall it is uh, it started making sense and uh, this is what we are looking for okay so we are not looking for perfections this the scale of these figures usually is very very small uh, uh, comparing to the overall watercolor subject in which you are putting these figures in later so uh, suggestivity is sufficient little bit of a suggestivity and uh, later part the the viewer will assume by themselves so you don't have to make it very precise okay the color now uh, applied is uh, uh, orange i have used a permanent orange from a brand called camel it's an indian brand you all may not get it so you can use any 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 uh, similar colors which can represent uh, the exposed body part okay So don't worry about specific colors any any adjacent or approximate color will be uh, more than enough uh, i think we are pretty much done with uh, the overall figure i'm not happy with the the other leg which is not resting on the ground i think i have made a minor mistake there i should have kept it on the ground okay but we will do something on the other leg later overall it it looks uh, uh, reasonably convincing i haven't made uh, the other hand so but that is that can be assumed so i have added a piece of uh, uh, something i mean uh, a, a stone or something where the other leg is uh, kind of rested that i just added i didn't capture video for that and uh, i hope the overall it is convincing enough and thank you very much for watching and Once again if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and uh, press the bell notification please write all your questions comments uh, suggestions into the comment box below and your comments will also help me in taking this video to a larger audience so uh, thanks once again for being with me in the journey of uh, watercolor painting and we will see you in the next video bye bye happy painting